Welcome in to the Mason Talks Cleveland Browns pregame show. Today is Saturday, October 17th, 2020. Tomorrow is week six of the NFL regular season, and the Cleveland Browns will be traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Coming into this game, the Steelers have a record of four wins, zero losses, and the Cleveland Browns have a record of four wins and only one loss loss. So it's pretty safe to say this is going to be a very important game in terms of the overall standings of the AFC North. Now, the players are pretty hyped up for this rivalry matchup. Earlier this week, Kareem Hunt was quoted as saying he wants this to be a revenge game for Miles Garrett. That quote obviously had Pittsburgh fans pretty riled up. And then Cam Hayward of the Pittsburgh Steelers said that he wants to inflict punishment on the injured Baker Mayfield. That quote obviously riled up Cleveland Browns fans. Now, this is going to be an offensive showdown, no matter how you frame it, no matter what angle you look at it from, both of these teams are able to score, and they're able to score in pretty big margins. I think it's going to be a close competitive game, but the first thing we need to look at are the notable injuries on both teams. Let's start with the Pittsburgh Steelers. For the Steelers, they will be playing this game without their wide receiver Deontay Johnson and David DeCastro one of their starting guards, is also going to be out. So Deontay Johnson, David DeCastro, those are the main injuries for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now let's look at the Cleveland Browns. Wyatt Teller, Carl Joseph, Ronnie Harrison, Greedy Williams, and Nick Chubb are all going to be missing from this game. Those are the players that are out for the Cleveland Browns. And Teller, Joseph, Harrison, Chubb, and Greedy Williams are all players who would have been starting in this game if they had been playing. The Cleveland Browns have some pretty big injury issues, and they have some pretty notable players who are going to be out against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But then even if you look at the players who are playing, Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham Jr., Baker Mayfield, and Olivier Vernon are all listed as questionable because they're dealing with injuries. Now, I'm pretty sure all of those guys are going to play, but they're all dealing with injuries. The Cleveland Browns are a very banged-up team, and I think it's going to be evident tomorrow against the Steelers, and injuries could end up being a massive issue that we have to deal with moving forward. So that's the injury report. Now... I want to talk about three reasons why I think the Browns can win, as well as three reasons why I'm concerned about facing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, let's start with the positive. Let's start with the reasons why I think the Browns can win this game. So, first off, the biggest and the main reason why I think the Browns have a chance to win tomorrow. Last week, they played the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts coming into that game had one of the best defenses in the NFL. They had a very solid defense against the run. Even without Wyatt Teller for most of the game, and even without Nick Chubb, the Cleveland Browns were able to have a clean and effective running attack. And with that running attack, led by Kareem Hunt, who had about 70 yards, and Dearness Johnson, who had around 30 yards, the Browns were able to build upon that And Baker Mayfield was able to have a pretty effective first half, which ended up being important important to the overall outcome of the game. He was able to have that pretty solid first half because of the play-action game that was built upon the running game. So even without your starting right guard, Wyatt Teller, who's one of the best right guards in the league, and even without Nick Chubb, who was one of the best running backs in the league before his injury, the Browns were still able to have an important and effective rushing attack. I think that will continue tomorrow against Pittsburgh, even with Chris Hubbard starting at right guard, and even without Nick Chubb. I think that Kareem Hunt and Dearness Johnson can continue to have effective games. Now, I also think we're going to see a pretty solid game from the Cleveland Browns defensive line. 
Olivier Vernon, Sheldon Richardson, Larry Ogunjobi, and Miles Garrett are all slated to be available and ready to start in this game. As long as the Cleveland Browns defensive line is healthy, I think that our pass rush can be pretty tough to stop, especially Miles Garrett. I think Miles Garrett is going to go off in this game tomorrow. Miles Garrett's been going off all year. He has been on the revenge tour all season. But I think there's going to be an added edge tomorrow. I don't think he's going to rip anybody's helmet off. I don't think Miles Garrett's going to, you know, it, uh, uh, attempt to murder anybody. But I think Miles Garrett's going to have a big game. I think Miles Garrett's going to be in the backfield in the backfield early and often. And I think he's going to make this a very painful game for Ben Roethlisberger. I expect Miles Garrett to absolutely go off. Now, the third reason why I'm feeling confident going into this game is because the Steelers have yet to play a team as good as the Cleveland Browns. Now, in the first four games that the Steelers have played and won, these are the teams that they have faced. The Steelers have played the Houston Texans, the Denver Broncos, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the New York Giants. Now, if you pay attention to the NFL this season, you would know that among those four teams, they have a combined record of three wins this season. The first four teams that the Steelers have played this year are four of the worst teams in the entire league. The Steelers have not beaten a good team yet. The Cleveland Browns are going to be the first legitimate team test that the Steelers are going to have to face. I know that the Steelers have looked really good. I know that their defense has been very, very good. And I know that Ben Roethlisberger has put together, put together a pretty good season, but they have not faced a team as talented or as, as winning. They haven't faced a winning team yet. They haven't faced anybody like the Cleveland Browns. So we still really don't fully know what the Pittsburgh Steelers are. Who knows? Maybe they'll get slaughtered when they actually play a team that's good at football. So those are the reasons why I have some confidence going into this game. You still have a pretty stout running attack. Kevin Stefanski's done a very good job at using that running attack to basically form this entire offense. Your defensive line is expected to be healthy and expected to play, and Miles Garrett could have a huge game tomorrow. And Pittsburgh hasn't played any proven teams yet. Now, let's get to the reasons why I am concerned. Now, the first one and the big one, the Cleveland Browns secondary, despite the fact that they have done a very good job in terms of takeaways, the Cleveland Browns secondary, quite frankly, hasn't been that good this year. And they're going to be even worse tomorrow. I mean, everybody's complained about Andrew Sandejo. Everybody's complained. You know, we've heard all of the complaints about the Browns' safeties. Tomorrow could be an absolute dumpster fire. I could absolutely see the Pittsburgh Steelers, led by Ben Roethlisberger, shredding the Cleveland Browns' secondary. Ronnie Harrison and Carl Joseph being out, that's a big deal. I mean, neither of them were great players necessarily, But they were impact players, and they played a lot of snaps for the Cleveland Browns defense, and they're both going to be out tomorrow, making the Browns secondary that much worse. Now, another reason why I'm concerned about this game tomorrow, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a really good defensive line. TJ Watt is one of the best defensive ends in all of football, and I think that the Steelers' offensive line is going to have a chance to disrupt the Cleveland Browns' running attack like nobody has yet, and I also think they're going to probably do a pretty good job at putting pressure on Baker Mayfield, and I think that with that pressure, we could see Baker Mayfield slip up and make some pretty bad mistakes. I hope it doesn't happen, but the Pittsburgh Steelers do have a very good defensive line. Now, the third reason why I'm concerned, and you might say that, you know, that's in the past, but the Browns haven't won at Heinz Field since October 5th of 2003. The Browns have not been able to get a victory in Pittsburgh for a long, long time, almost 20 years. Now, eventually they're going to win in Pittsburgh. Eventually you're going to be able to get that win at Heinz Field. But you haven't done it in such a long time. 
And you know, quite frankly, I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. As much as I want to pick the Cleveland Browns to win this game, I can't do it. Mainly because of the injury issue. Listen, if the Cleveland Browns were fully healthy, and if you had key players like Wyatt Teller and Nick Chubb playing in this game, I would be picking the Cleveland football Browns to defeat the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the Browns just have too many injuries. They haven't won in Pittsburgh in a long, long time. And Pittsburgh is a good enough proven team that I think they're going to come out prepared and ready to shut down the Browns running attack tomorrow. As much as I want to pick the Cleveland Browns, I am going to have to pick the Pittsburgh Steelers. But later in the season... If the Browns are able to be a healthier team, if we're able to have key guys healthy and ready to play, I do think that the Cleveland Browns are going to have an opportunity to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. I just don't think it's going to be tomorrow. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this game coming up? Do you think the Browns can beat the Steelers or do you think Pittsburgh will ultimately prevail? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.